Um, I want to talk to you about uh, critical factors. And uh, one of those critical factors would be um, cutting through the racket. Let's say you're trying to get a job interview and you're trying to get a, a, an interview and you want to sit down with upper management or even the CEO of a company. But there's like, you know, a hundred other applicants that are out there. You got a hundred people that you believe that you're competing with. You are not competing with job applicants. I just want you to know that. You are competing with racket, okay? You are competing with excruciating noise that's out there. And you gotta find a way to cut through all that. You gotta find a way that's gonna get their attention. I'll give you an example, a real real time example that I just I just had a conversation last week with a, with a young kid, he's in his 20s, and um, he said, you know, I've been trying to apply at this company and, and that company, and, um, and I said, well, you know, how's it going? And he said, well, you know, um, I, I put my application in and my resume, and I, I hope they got it. You know, I, maybe I got to send my, you know, and he says, well, maybe I got to send my resume in again. And I said, uh, send your resume in again. I said, no, 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 let me tell you what you do. Let, let me tell you what you should do, and let me tell you what's going to be real beneficial for you. Is I want you to go in there, talk to the highest level of management that you can talk to. And, you know, if it's the owner of the company, it's the CEO of the company, he just happens to be there that day, or she just happens to be there that day, fantastic. You walk in there, and this is what you say, I want to work for you. And they'll say, well, you know, did you fill out an application? No, 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 you misunderstand. I want to work for you, not just your company. I want to be a sponge for you. I want to be your apprentice. I want to work for you. And this is what I bring to the table. See, now all of a sudden you've cut through the racket and this excruciating noise that's out there. And now you've got his attention or her attention. And now, that, now you've just set yourself head and shoulders beyond the pack. Let me tell you about a famous news anchor that I'll leave unnamed. Uh, she was with a very small town news affiliate some years back. And uh, she wanted to work for CNN. But you can imagine, as a, as a journalist, all the hundreds and hundreds of applicants, applications that CNN probably goes through, and resumes that they probably go through with all these kids that are coming out of school, getting out of school, and they want to go work for CNN. Well, she had to figure out a way to cut through this racket. She wasn't competing with other journalists. She was competing with noise. So she had to figure out a way to cut through the noise. So this is what she did. She went to a thrift store or a, uh, I don't know, a dollar store or something like that. She bought herself an inflatable globe that cost about $2. And then she put a picture of herself on top of the resume. She put together a nice resume, a very comprehensive, easy to understand resume. And then she also had some clips of some works that she's already, that she's done in the past. And the, and the headline read, to the, uh, to the founder, to the chief person that she could talk to over at CNN, it said, with that inflatable globe right there, she says, I want to bring the world to your audience. And she got the job. She landed the job. It's creativity, it's innovation, and she's cutting through the noise. You're not competing with other people. You're competing with racket. There's so much racket. And you say, wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I, what are you talking about? There's racket all around you. <laughs> racket, you got to figure out a way to cut through.